Hello, this is Craig Mertens, Director of Product Education for Inktavo, the parent company of Inksoft, Graphics Flow, and Printavo. I'd like to introduce an important new feature to the Inksoft online platform. The new feature is called Clone Stores. In the past, we had the ability to copy a store where we could copy the layout as well as all the settings for the store. But now we have the ability to not only do that, but also copy over all of the products as well as the artwork and globally change the artwork on our products. I'm going to walk you through the new Clone Stores feature. From the Inksoft dashboard, I'm going to select Inksoft Core. I'm going to select Stores. And then I'm going to select the store that I would like to clone. In this case, I'm going to select this team store right here central boosters. So what you want to do is you want to set up a template for the store that you want to duplicate. This is going to be your base template for subsequent stores. All of the settings are going to get transferred over and also all of the aesthetics and visual appearance of the store are going to be transferred into the new store. So in this particular store, I have some basic components. I have a promo bar. I have our navigation here. I have a header banner. I added a fundraising module. I have placeholders for three products and then I have a testimonial. So I have the store set up exactly the way I want it for my team store template. We can also do the same thing for corporate stores as well as fundraising stores. I've navigated back to my store list. I'm going to select the store that I'd like to clone and I'm going to go over to the three dots button over here, select it, and then I'm going to click on clone store. I'm going to be prompted to name the store. So I'm going to name the store East Eagles boosters. I'm going to provide a store directory. And then I'm going to toggle on include products and store artwork. To clone the store, I'm just going to click on the clone store button. Once the store has been cloned, I have three options. I can either go to the storefront, which is going to bring me to the style editor where I can edit the visual appearance of the store. I can go to the rapid product creator and edit product details, or I can replace artwork in bulk. In this case, I'm going to select replace artwork in bulk. When I clone the store, all of the products from the original store are copied over to the new store. And this includes blank products, products that were created under the legacy stores, as well as shared products. One important thing to note, if you have products that were created in the rapid product creator and are shared between multiple stores, you won't be able to swap the artwork out between the stores. All of the artwork in this particular store was created using graphics from our sister company, Graphics Flow. So I took templates, I edited those templates and localized them for Cougar Soccer, put in the correct colors. I created two vector layouts, and I also took one of the layouts and converted it into embroidery and a DST file using my digitizing software. I saved the customized vector graphics on my Graphics Flow account, and then I went into Graphics Flow and also did a name drop on the graphic. To replace the artwork, I just need to click on the three dots button and select replace art. I'm then going to swap out the artwork with a print file. So I'm going to select upload print file. I'm going to navigate to the folder on my hard drive where I've saved the East Eagles files. I'm going to select a vector file in PDF format, and then I'm going to select the corresponding file that matches the Cougar soccer file. And here's the updated file with Eagles soccer. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click on open. Then I'm going to be prompted to replace the art. You'll be notified that you're replacing art in a single file. If there were multiple files with the same artwork, they would be replaced globally as well. I'm going to click on continue to swap out the artwork. I'm then going to be presented with two options. I can go to the store products or I can stay in store artwork to swap out additional artwork. I'm going to click on stay in store art. You can see the updated art file and it's important to note that this feature is not limited to clone stores. You'll now have the replace art function with all of your artwork for any store. I'm going to go and swap out another file real quick. I'm going to select this file, replace art. I'm going to highlight the version for East Eagles, replace it, stay in store art. Next, I'm going to swap out the embroidery file. So I'm going to go to the embroidery file, click on the three dots button, select replace art. And in this case, I'm going to upload an embroidery file. So I'm going to select upload embroidery file. I'm going to select a DST file that I digitized. I'm going to click on open. And then I'm going to be prompted to assign thread colors to the different stops within the DST embroidery file. DST embroidery files do not carry color data. So we need to manually assign the colors to each particular object within the embroidery file. So I'm going to start off by selecting Eagles here. I'm going to use the Isochord palette and I'm going to choose the color Mimosa. I'm going to select it, click on done. 
I'm going to do the same thing for the beak here, and then I'm going to choose white for the other parts within the graphic. Once I've selected the thread colors, I can click on Upload, click on Continue, and to replace the graphic, I'm just going to go back and select Store Art. Once I've swapped out the artwork, I can go to my products by selecting Go to Products. The active products that are currently in the store are going to be displayed. You notice I'm in the Store Admin function for the store. I'm going to select all of the products. I'm going to then select Edit Product Details. You'll notice a new button, Replace Art in Bulk. This has been one of our most requested features. This new feature allows you to change all of the artwork on all of the selected products simultaneously. This is also the area where I select default colors, the item descriptions, the SKUs, as well as the pricing. If I've made any changes, I want to click on the Save Changes button. I'm going to return back to Store Products, and I'm going to show you how to update any of the colorways or artwork within the graphic. To edit the graphics placement, adjust colorways, or add or delete colors to the product, I can select the Edit Products function. To edit the graphic and product colors, select Edit Designs and Styles, and you'll notice the graphic is placed on the same relative location as the original Central Boosters graphic. You may need to make some fine adjustments based on the proportions of the new graphic. I'm going to add an additional color here. I'm going to select Add Color. I'm going to select Daisy. Click on Done. And you can see this colorways isn't working on the Daisy colored shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the colorway. I'm going to go over here to view colorways. I'm going to create a new colorway. I'm going to take all of the gold in the design and I'm going to reassign that to white. I'm going to click on done, save colorway, and I'm going to make sure that the correct colorway is assigned to each color within the shirt. I'm then going to apply changes. When I'm done editing, I'm going to select Save and Publish. After updating the products and the graphics, I'm going to go to the Style Editor to begin to localize this store to match the aesthetics of East Eagles. The first thing I'm going to do is change the color scheme. So I'm going to go over here to Edit. I'm going to select a new color scheme. I'm going to change this over to a gold color. I'm going to do the same thing for this block right here. I can either delete or update the testimonial. In this case, I'm going to delete it. And the next step would be replacing the logo and the banners. In order to do that, I need to go to the store settings. So I'm going to click on Save and Publish. And then I'm going to navigate back to Store Admin and select Settings. I'm then going to select Store Branding and replace the logos. I'm going to use a PNG file to replace the logos within the store. Once I've replaced all the logos, I'm going to select Save and Publish. I'm then going to return back to the Style Editor and change the graphic for the banner. I'm going to remove the existing banner and upload new artwork. Once I'm done localizing the aesthetics of the online store, I'm going to click on Save and Publish. And I'm going to navigate back to Storefront to see how my store looks. The Clone Stores feature is a huge time saver. You can set up store templates, easily clone them, update the graphics and the products, change the aesthetics of the store to match school colors and logos, and you can easily get stores in front of prospective clients. If you'd like more information on the new Inksoft Clone Stores feature, please reach out to your Inksoft Success Manager.